Hi everyone, Posey here. I bet this isn't what you expected, but it's a special day today. Because on August 11, 2019, exactly five years ago, Whovian countersanded my horrible criticism of Don't Mind at Night from December of 2017, which is what brought me into the Animation Wins community in the first place. Now I run the channel, so I want to do something a little special, you could say. Whovian countersanded my video and Chi Alex's video, but as it turns out, back in 2020, after I'd been hired as a writer, someone had suggested we countersin a third critique of Don't Mind at Night, which unfortunately we all promptly forgot about. Until now, William reminded me of it, so here we go. Except, there's just one problem. This video isn't nearly as bad as the other two. I may not be persuasive enough to win this war of opinions on my own, and there's only one person I can turn to to get this done. We're going to fight for this classic once again, side by side at last, for old time's sake. Now presenting... Uh... <coughs> yep. I'm here. I'm here. Ow. Okay. Hi, everyone. I'm really excited to be back. I've honestly missed you all so much. Anyway, let's get to it, shall we? That could easily be from a torch just out of frame. Scary noise, what should I do? Go left or right, I'll have to choose. Uh, what? No, genuinely, I don't know what this means. Are you saying the cave should be dimmer? If so, why? The animation being from 2012 is not why you should be giving it more grace. Plenty of indie animations at the time were much more fluid. Take Harry 101 UK's work, for instance. The reason you should be giving Don't Mind at Night grace is because it wasn't made by experienced animators. It was always intended as a fun Minecraft-themed parody to a popular song. Also, an animation being linear can be a stylistic choice and isn't inherently bad. The somewhat stilted style works just fine for a relatively simple animation like this. I know it's me you're gonna fake Make a bet it's not too late Three wall and three wooden planks Don't mind at night The carpet is just outside the camera's range in the previous shot How many times I have to say Drop the pick and walk away A hey, whoa It's cartoony on purpose and it fits the tone Not a sin don't mind Pretty sure it embeds itself in the ground because it's sharp. Why would it bounce? It looks like the forest in question is at a hilltop, so this isn't as inconsistent as you think it is. It's still weird that the items magically teleport up, but that's not the problem you pointed out. I lost all my stuff, it was really tough, that's it! Rage quit! Well, unlikely, it's still possible that the majority of the items landed outside the frame. Don't mind at night I know you're looking at that cave And you're feeling kind of brave Go to bed, you'll be alright Don't mind at night Yeah, that's also how they are in the game. This animation isn't trying to be anything complicated, so I don't think it's worth faulting the lack of extrusions here. There's nothing that is gonna change If you just wait until the day Zombies wanna eat your brains Don't mind at night There are redstone lamps all over the place. Also, lava has a light level of 15, the highest in the game. Yes, they are. You can see multiple instances of it, actually. Also, why are you sending the absence of a light source, then sending the very obvious light sources for apparently not emitting light?
As this is how the animator chose to portray the chorus of this music video, I'd say it goes on for a fairly appropriate amount of time, actually. Make a bed, it's not too late. Three wall and three wooden planks. Don't mind at night. The rest of the animation does have offset. Not having offset would mean every part of the character rigs move at the exact same time, and there are many instances of this distinctly not happening. Don't mind at night. Don't mind at night. I don't see the issue. These are just being used for a quirky transition to the end credits. You're not supposed to feel immersed in the moment. Got my helmet on my head. Figure out what that zombie said. What? Lava all over the room. Correct. As I said before, this video, while having its fair share of shoddy points, isn't as bad as mine or Chi Alex's. It's also nice that they acknowledge that despite these nitpicks, Don't Mine at Night is still a classic and a fun watch. Overall, could have been way worse. What do you think, Huvian? Honestly, this wasn't too bad. It was short, succinct, had pretty valid arguments, despite the myriad valid counterarguments, and it was all relatively inoffensive, which... I haven't seen from one of these videos in a long time. Served as a very nice breath of fresh air. Well everyone, thanks for watching and thanks for having me for five years. It's been wonderful. Goodbye!